Brett Yormark wants more expansion, and he wants it now. Slow your roll there, bud. This is Locked On Big 12. You are Locked On Big 12, your daily podcast on the Big 12 Conference. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Locked On Big 12. I'm Drake Toll from America's number one Big 12 podcast, Locked On Big 12. Thank you for making this show your first listen every single day. Let's talk Brett Yormark and his call for more expansion as soon as possible this week. And I want to preface this by saying I uh, I host Locked On Big 12. I'm a fan of Brett Yormark. I think where he's taking this conference is a good location. He's a businessman first, and that is going to behoove us. However, his comments this week in Arizona felt out of touch with both fan bases and coaches as he talked about further expansion. Now, the expansion we should be focusing on is building this conference with new teams specifically out of the ACC. You'll know if you're an everyday of this show that I am pro expanding in the East Coast. Why? Because there's a look-in clause in the college football playoff contract that says if the conferences can weigh themselves in different ways, we will look into giving you more money. Thus, if the Big 12 expands with further teams, they can get more money in the college football playoff conversation where right now they're making almost half as much as the Big 10 and the SEC. The goal is to close that gap. Your Mark's focus though is not just on that look in but also on expanding the ncaa tournament he wants to add more teams to march madness open to 76 teams playing in march madness he also said this week this per front office sports he wants to go to 14 teams in the college football playoff format and that the division between the big 10 the sec and everybody else is overstated let's start here with march madness i believe i believe and i think you should too that every team all 363 teams should make it in the bracket for march madness i i honestly i'm not i'm not a genius but my plan would be to have all 363 get an opportunity and maybe like to because you couldn't all like at one spot. So maybe we regionally break it up. We we have these things. We call them, I don't know, say leagues. Maybe, oh, we, no, no, we'll call them conferences. And I'll have like one called the Patriot Conference. And and that'll have like 12 or 14 teams. And at the end of the year, they play kind of like a regional tournament. And the winner of that regional tournament can move up to play in the big tournament. And then, and then wait a sec. And then the winner of that regional will go to kind of like a bigger regional. Maybe we split it up into four of those regionals and then they all kind of come to the winner of each regional comes together in like a, an ending four or something. And then they play for national champions. And that gives all three sixty three teams a chance. That's the current format, Brett. Everybody makes the NCAA tournament. And again, look, I, I'm not here to be anti Brett Yormark. I just don't think these comments make a lot of sense. 76 teams in March Madness, 14 teams in the college football playoff. We haven't even done 12 yet. We're already ready to move to 14. And most people would go back and say, hey, you know, the BCS wasn't a great thing, but getting it to four is usually a pretty good spot to be in because we've mostly labor, uh, labeled our national champion out of those four every year. There's never been like that fifth team. Like, oh, well, they would have won it all. People argue TCU in 2014. TCU wouldn't have won it all in 2014. They had a great shot. But expanding the college football playoff past six is not going to get you anywhere aside from more dollars. Your mark told front office sports direct quote here or told somebody in front office sports reported on it, if we end up going to 14 in the college football playoff, that is, and we can further enhance the championship experience for more teams, more student athletes. That's great. I'm going to continue to bet on the Big 12 that we're going to take some of those at large spots. In theory, more is more. Hang on to that one. More is good, but the proof is in the details. And I'm excited to see how this year plays out at 12. What your mark likely means means by more is more is that more is more money and adding to the college football playoff does bring in more money, more revenue for these conferences. The big 12 needs that since they're so far behind the sec and the big 10, when it comes to that revenue number, therefore it's not shocking that you mark wants more 76 teams in March madness means more money. It also means that Brett has the chance to play nice. One of the things that was the downfall of George Klyovkov in the Pac-12 is he didn't play nice. He was brash. He would go against what everybody else said. Like, oh, you know, that they think the Big 12 is going to poach our teams. Well, we are. We haven't even gone shopping over there yet. We haven't decided what we want to pick out of the Big 12. And like less than a year later, his conference goes defunct. That guy made too many enemies at the 12th hour and just couldn't get anything. Is it 12th hour? Is that the saying? And just couldn't get anything done to the point where his conference died and he was ousted. Your mark wants to do the opposite. He hears Greg Sankey over here saying expand the college football playoff because we get more money or he hears Petiti over here, the Big Ten saying, hey, expand the NCAA tournament. We need more teams out there. And your mark's going, huh? The two guys who control a majority of the money and have the TV networks in their back pocket are saying they want this. I should probably also want that. 
if he comes out guns ablazing with rhetoric that is different from other commissioners or that pushes against the powers that be in college athletics, he pits himself in a bad spot. Right now, it feels like Phillips over there, Jim Phillips at the ACC, they're kind of doing that. They wanted to have this super ultra basketball conference and it didn't work out. And then they really couldn't get the whole thing nailed down with their ESPN contract. They're being sued by this guy and this guy and this guy. And now they're going to reveal the ESPN contract to Clemson and they're going to be able to see it. Like they signed on to this thing without ever actually laying their eyes on it. And that's going be the true downfall of the ACC. Your Mark's just saying, hey, look, if I can say the right things, businessman, if I can say the right things right now that align with where the money is, then maybe I can get out of this thing for the next couple of years and truly have a better opportunity to expand our conference. Because again, the number one goal of the Big 12, Brett Yormark asked for a look-in clause with the college football playoff that says, if you are weighted differently, if you have more teams, if you are more valuable within the next three years, we will give you more money. We will change the scale at which we pay these conferences. So your Mark's thought process is play nice for a bit. And maybe that rhetoric, again, does not match your conference coaches, your conference fans. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's pretty good for saving face on the big scale. And maybe that's OK. So while I disagree with your Mark, while these comments feel completely out of touch and you're probably saying more expansion to the college football playoff more expansion to the march madness ncaa tournament that sucks i hate that aren't we good where we are maybe he agrees with that deep down but when greg sankey is saying the opposite when petiti is saying the opposite philip saying the opposite your marks got to play nice with these guys Otherwise, it's not going to work out. If he holds out hope for this Super League, 80-team Super League, that's never going to happen, you're asking for the downfall of the Big 12. Again, I'll go back to that article the Athletic released, uh, I guess, now a month ago. It didn't really mention much about the ACC. The Big 12, the Big 10, and the SEC are vehemently against the Super League because it goes against their properties, their their friends, Fox and ESPN, of which they are properties of. The ACC was kind of like, uh, uh, sure, whatever, uh, okay. And that's not good. You want to be staunchly for or staunchly against where the money is. Whatever ESPN tells you to do today in college football, that's what you do. We're, we're not in like the point the finger and blame that guy. Like, oh, that guy's an idiot. No, 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 no. He's, he's probably just doing what ESPN wants him to do. He, he's probably just doing what Fox wants him to do. And your mark here with that look in provision and the distribution deal in 2028 is doing good is doing good. Your mark did say again, per front office sports, having that look in made sense for a lot of different reasons. I certainly wasn't happy with distribution. I guess you could say in some respects, I was satisfied. It was fine, but certainly not happy about it. Again, great business, man. Did I love it? No. Did I hate it? No. Was it fine? No. Was it fine? Yeah. And I don't think our ADs or our coaches are either, but we're going to continue to invest for the right reasons. Your mark's in a good spot. I like Brett Yormark. These comments kind of suck. But again, we got to play nice. We're with the cool kids at the cool kids table. So we're going to, we're going we're gonna, to, we're the fourth mean girl, or third mean girl, however many there were. We're going to stay in that little crowd. And I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. Thanks, Brett. I love you. Uh, today's show is brought to you by Monopoly Go. Look, I'm a competitive guy. You're probably a competitive guy, too. You want to beat me? You can't. You cannot. And Monopoly Go is where I go. I play the old-fashioned Monopoly game that I still love, but I do it mobile. Mobile. Wherever I go, I can play Monopoly on the go. That's right. Unique stickers. You can trade with friends to compete for albums and big prizes. Cool new playing pieces to travel the boards with. Hilarious emojis for taunting your friends when you smash their buildings or heist their vaults. Plus, Monopoly Go feels new and exciting every day, constantly changing tournaments and challenges. A ton include their own unique mini games like Digging for Treasure or a Robot Pachinko Machine. And there's always new timed events that help you win big, like massive multipliers for everything you win or rent frenzies. There's always something fun to discover at Monopoly Go. Go set off the bench. Get off the bench. Download it on Google Play or the Apple Store today. Game on with Monopoly Go. Thanks for watching today's mini show. Brett Yormark, I love you. Ah, good to see you, friend. Hope you're doing well out there. Everybody else, thanks for a great week. Another great week of Locked on Big 12. Uh, may the Big 12 live forever. And the people that are like, oh, I hate realignment. I do too. I hate that it's killing college. I hate that we're not going to be able to see here in a couple of years, you know, like NC State, North Carolina be a conference game. And that's not fun. But I do like the idea of the Big 12 surviving. And that comes with adding some more ACC teams. So we're going to keep on that hypothetical train. Because boy, howdy. Again, in like the survival of the fittest thing, 
or is that Darwin? Is he the one that did that? Um, yeah, I think so. Right. The Big 12's got to do what it's got to do to stay like relevant in college football and today. That's just like making dollars. So you got to go pick up expensive or valuable properties. I think it's what your mark's going to do. Unlocked on. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Dose Grande.